How you doing guys? This is Big Head Jr. again. In today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be showing you guys where to find the robot in Red Dead Redemption. Okay, here's the first thing you're going to need to find this robot, and that would be the electric lantern. Uh, you notice guys that it's shining yellow right now. But a neat little trick about this that took me a little while to figure out myself is the lantern will actually well electric one will actually show you the direction where you need to go for the robot and I'll show you guys this real quick right here if you turn it will slowly turn to a bright orange or yeah that's a bright orange I'm pretty sure and it's pointing in that direction right here it actually leads you to it as you get further away like that you turn away the electric lantern will turn color and it make the kind of this cool orange color which is pretty cool so the location for that robot is right up here right by this little abandoned town right here you start off with in the first game, at the beginning of the game, with Arthur. And there's Miss Sadie Adler's ranch right there. But in order to get this robot to spawn in this location, what you're going to need to do is go to San Denise, um, to the park area with the little pond. And it's right by the stables, I'm pretty sure. Let me check on the map here, guys, and I'll show y'all exact location real quick where you can actually get that to spawn. And it's, yeah, it's on the same road as the stables right there, and there's a little pond right there. And that little dock right there, you can actually see a dude. I can't remember his name, but I know the name of the mission. The mission is called A Bright Bouncing Boy. And there's two parts to this mission. There's part one and there's part two. And part two, what you want to do is you follow him and do what he wants you to do. And after you leave him, the mission will not respond. This is the second part now, not the first. The mission will not respond. So what you're going to have to do is you have to go back to Dover Hill after you complete a bright bouncing boy part two and you go into this into his little building at Dover Hill which is located right here right outside of Annisburg I believe yes and what you want to do it going to want to do is you're going to want to go in there as soon as you get up there so I, w I would suggest to wait 24 to 48 hours before you go there which is three days so you know you can go back up there and there will be a electric lantern there and once you get that electric lantern then you come up here and go to this map location right here I'm not going to tell you guys what's in the, in the mission with a bright bouncing boy uh, what all you got to do in both parts uh, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody if, if you guys haven't done that yet so what I want to do is, do you know, just show y'all the location of the robot. So whenever y'all do complete it, then you will be able to come up here and see this robot. That being said, guys, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where this is at, which I find it pretty cool about this lantern. It is really weird and red, so yeah. I'm going to show y'all the best possible way to get up there. And it's best to do it at night. That way you can follow the lantern. But if you know the exact location, you really don't need the lantern. But I've already been up here. So I'm not sure whether... I can't remember whether... Um, you the, the lantern gets brighter the closer you get. But I guess we'll find out pretty soon because we're going back up there now. 
So what we got to do, we got to get to this little town here where we were in the beginning of the game in chapter one. Oh, we must have turned. Yeah. On a personal note, guys, be very careful going up the side of this mountain because you will fall and die. So be very careful and do not uh, fly up here on your horse because you will fall and die. I have the ha I had that happen to me a few times. And I lost a good horse. But yeah, guys, we're not too far away from it. It's really not that hard to find it. But if you don't know where you're looking, then you're not going to find it. You'd be lucky if you do so. But since I've already did this, um, the robot speaks to you. I can't remember what the robot says, but... Oh, I remember what it said. It said, Papa, Papa, like in this very sad animatronic voice. Like the voice is full of regret. Well, I thought that was the wolves. And remorse. Full of regret and remorse. Looks like the robot has a conscience or something or another. But it is pretty cool. As you guys can see, it's 20 degrees out here. And I had the, the complete ghost bison. Oh, ghost bison, not bison. But ghost bison outfit on which you can get by completing the trappers and doing all the you know ingredients you need to do this and this bison the ghost bison outfit is perfect for such an occasion going in 20 degree weather as you guys can see this is the little town we were at in the beginning of the game but you don't want to go into this town what you want to do is um, go this way over. I thought that was a little brief, but that's not. What you want to do is go this way here. Be careful because, see, because you will get thrown off your horse. Hey, buddy. And me and Shalomar is riding again. Which is my favorite horse in the world. He's an Arabian, I believe. I did a video on it. It was my previous video, actually. Okay, I'm stuck between some trees. What you want to do is go up this hillside right here. And you guys can see you can literally come from the river right here at this point. The best thing to do is just go to this end of town right here. Where these little sheds are in the end of town right here. And you just want to go straight across basically just want to go straight across and you should not have trouble getting up here and you should be able to pick up the trail before too long because you will actually start to see footprints up here somewhere or another and I can't remember where you start to see footprints but you actually start to see footprints up here I think it's around this bend up here and it's, it's pretty cool then you can pick up the it says strangers trail when you pick it up which I'm pretty sure it's right here between these rocks. The best thing to do is dismount so you can see the, the trail right here. Since I've already found it, it's not going to activate for me. Oh, yes, it will. It's the focus on robot. Okay. See if we can track them up the hill. Oh, yeah, you guys want to just follow these tracks. You don't really have to track it because you can actually just follow the robot's footprints up here. Which I'm, su I'm, pretty sh I'm surprised they're still here. But you, you guys will see the robot in just a few seconds. He's right up on this hill here. Like I said, guys, I haven't been up here in a while, so I don't know if he's still up here. He should be. Yep, there he is. He's right there.
<coughs> well, that guy's, I didn't think he was still going to talk. Because I haven't been up here in a while. Um, I had no idea. But if you, if you actually shoot this robot, it will kill him. And you come back, he will not be here. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just follow those steps, and you should have no problem reaching this robot and follow the map location. And I'll show you guys exactly on the map where I am. Right there. And you want to just come down here to the end of this little road right here. By these two sheds I showed you guys earlier. And just come straight up, basically. To right there is where your horse is and then you walk up this way and then there's your robot it is in a secret Easter egg not many people know about and I thought it was pretty cool as you guys heard he sounds like he's in some kind of duress distress and he's kind of like feeling guilty for killing his father as you guys can see, all on his hands kind of looks like rust, but it's not. All up here and all on his little exhaust port and all on the back side of him, that is actually blood. That is not rust. That is blood. For where he killed his father. You can actually see it on his hand. He was just sitting up here on the side of the hill looking out towards the mountains which is weird for a robot to do but with that being said guys uh, thanks for watching my video uh, hit the like button and then hit the subscribe button and little bell beside it so you will be notified when I upload a new video and if you guys uh, want me to try something out on Red Dead Redemption uh, story mode or Grand Theft Auto 5, just uh, drop a comment for what you want me to check out. If it's like a secret on a game you want me to check out and see if it works on mine or whatever. If you want to check, want me to check anything out on the games, uh, you know, just drop it in the comment section below. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.